What's up guys? I have uh, another physics tutorial problem here. This one having to do with balanced forces and including friction. Uh, sorry in advance for my bad handwriting, uh, but this should give you a pretty good idea of what kind of problems we're going to be doing in this unit and hopefully help you with any problems you have for web assignment homework if you get stuck. So the problem says, find mu sub k for the situation below and assume the block is moving at a constant velocity due to a 100 newton pull force. So we got a little dude here pulling on a 10 kilogram block and he's pulling it up a ramp at an angle of 25 degrees. We know the block has a mass of 10 kilograms and I just used uh, 10 meters per second squared as the acceleration due to gravity to simplify calculations. So the force of the earth acting on the block is going to be 100 newtons. So we start this problem um, by setting up a force diagram. So here we tilt the axes so that the x-axis is parallel to the surface of the ramp and the y-axis perpendicular. We draw the force of gravity going straight down and it has both y and x components. Notice that the 25 degree angle is the angle made between the y-axis and the force of the earth acting on the object. We also have the force of kinetic friction aimed down the ramp because he's pulling the block up and friction opposes motion. And we have the force of the pull on the object from the guy pulling the block up the ramp. And that's directed up the ramp with a magnitude of 100 newtons. So some simple calculations to get us started. Using the angle of 25 degrees, we can find the x component of the force of the earth on the object, which is 100 sine 25, which is 42.26 newtons. And for the force of the earth on the object in the y direction, we get 100 cosine 25, which is 90.63 newtons. So now we can set up our sum of the forces equations. We know that there's no acceleration, so the forces must be balanced. So the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero, sorry, are equal to zero. And we have three forces, the force of the pull on the object, the force of kinetic friction, and the force of the earth on the object in the x direction. Substituting in what we know, we have zero equals 100 newtons from the pull force up here, plus the force of kinetic friction. We don't know that yet. And then we can subtract away uh, 42.26 newtons due to the force of the earth on the object because it's pointing down the ramp. And so it has a negative, negative direction. And solving for the force of kinetic friction, we get negative 57.75 newtons, which is the force of kinetic friction. Now, in order to find mu sub k, we know we're going to have to use this equation, that force of kinetic friction equals mu sub k times the normal force, or the force of the ramp on the object. So in order to find the normal force, we come up here and use some of the forces in the y direction which we know is equal to zero because the block is not accelerating off of or into the ramp. And we have two forces acting, the force of the ramp on the object directed up and the y component of the force of the earth on the object, both perpendicular to the ramp. So zero equals the force of the ramp on the object minus 90.63 newtons, the negative sign once again because the force of the earth on the object is going down. So we get a normal force of 90.63 newtons. And now we have the force of kinetic friction, and we have the force of the ramp on the object. Remember that this negative sign for the force of kinetic friction has to do with the direction. There's no such thing as a negative force. So we can drop the negative when we use this equation. We know the magnitude of the force of kinetic friction. We know the magnitude of the force of the ramp on the object, or the normal force. And solving for normal force, we get kinetic friction divided by the normal force, which is 57.75 over 90.63 and a mu sub k value of 0.637. And that'll take us through the entire problem. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you, and um, I hope that you use this as a resource when you're working on future problem sets that have to do with friction and ramps and all that other good stuff. So that's about it. Peace out.